There are several efficiency improvements to our drafting and project management tools. Schedules have received several new updates as well as reference display. Let's begin by looking at the new reference display features. Reference display allows you to superimpose a floor above or below on the current floor, or as an as-bill over a remodel. When displaying an as-bill on a remodel, it was important that the two files originate with the same coordinates. In X15, this is no longer required now that there is an offset. The new offset not only applies for as-bill overlays, but also other houses, outbuildings, or neighborhoods. In plan view, I'll use a separate house, call it the neighbors, to display adjacent to this house that is in the design phase. Once the neighbor's house is selected for reference display, you can edit the offset under Tools, Reference Display. Using the Point-to-Point -point Move tool, I'll position it into place. In 3D, using the same plan, the offsets will transfer from the 2D view, allowing you to create renderings with multiple structures to show clients or plan departments. For door and window schedules, header height is a new column available to include the header information in the schedule, adding detail, and to help identify if any openings might be out of alignment. Sorting of schedules has been updated for more flexibility. An automatic sorting option is available to choose columns, and to sort them by ascending or descending values. On the schedule itself, you can change the column sorting. As you make changes to the sorting, the object labels in plan view also update. If you manually move a row item, the program will notify you and ask if you want to turn off the automatic sorting. There is a new number formatting panel in Schedules. For each column that is applicable, you can control the format display of numbers. In this framing schedule sample, I can change the formatting to inches to list the framing members in a specific format. Room volume is a new column available for schedules. On the number formatting panel, you can adjust how the number is displayed. Schedules can be group edited. By selecting multiple schedules, a common change can quickly be made. In this case, since the room schedules are by floor, I'll select both and then remove the floor column. Also, for schedules, you can set them to have a minimum number of rows in the case where you want to reserve space on a layout page. Once that minimum is set, the schedule will continue to expand. Cabinet door and drawer style columns can be added to schedules to list the face item names. You can also use the callout shape in the schedule and refer to them for easy cross-referencing. To change the callout size, adjust the schedule's column width. For symbols, like appliances, you can add the Requirements column to Schedules to list the options for these objects, like natural gas, dedicated circuit, and or others. Information for designer and client can be managed through the Preferences on the New Plans tab. There is a panel to input information for both the designer and client, which are accessible using macros. You can choose whether you want to bring the designer and client information forward for new plans or layouts. Rich text can be linked using web hyperlinks. Highlight the text with the insert hyperlink, type or paste in the web address, such as an installation instruction or catalog download link. To open the URL path, use the control plus click. New special characters for centerline, diameter, and square foot are available. These special characters can be inserted through the macro text and then scrolling down the available list. Custom arrowheads can be created and then used for line ends. In this example, the shape for the arrowhead was created using the CAD tools. A fill was added. It was blocked as a CAD object, then an insertion point placed for the tip of the arrow. In the line properties, 
you can browse to the library and then to the plan CAD blocks and choose the arrowhead block to assign the arrow to the line. Adjust the sizing and use the new custom arrowhead. There are several great new features in Chief Architect X15 and you can expect to see it this spring. And remember, all new software purchases include support and software assurance. So, if you're not currently a customer, get started today with Chief Architect.